Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video we have some great news. We now have the 6th One UI 6 beta that is available for Samsung Galaxy S23 series. So I'm going to go to my settings right over here. This has already been updated. I'm going to go all the way down, tap on software update, and if I tap on last update, you can see we have the One UI 6.0 version ending in ZWJ6. So this is quite a sizable update coming in at 865 megabytes. It does include the October 1st security patch with the latest updates. And like we said, ends in ZWJ6. Nothing is new, so no new features were added, but we do have a bunch of bugs that were fixed. And also we have improved touch stability, overall software stability, and many other improvements with no details. Now, as far as the touch stability is concerned, that's basically just touching the screen it does feel smoother overall. This very likely is the final beta before the official release. So it is gonna be very close to what we're gonna see as the end product, okay? Very smooth, all right? Let's launch our applications, see how they go down. Absolutely beautiful. There does seem to be a slight improvement in the way this is happening. Let me do it fast, okay? Okay, so not a dramatic difference, but there's a little sense of smoothness in the overall fluidity, as you can see. And let's launch the folders. That is great. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Let's pull the notifications panel down. Look at that new control panel. Very nice, comes down perfectly fine. If I tap on edit, we go to the edit screen. So let me look at this one more time. When I tap on edit, it transitions very nicely to the actual edit quick settings panel. That is great. Now, one thing that's very important with this sixth beta, which I think is the final beta, is if you go to software information on your phone, based on the information we have obtained from the internet, it appears that this is in fact the stable release of Android 14. So this One UI beta is based on stable Android 14, which is great news. All right, so let me exit this. Let me do this one more time. Let me launch a couple applications here and see how it looks like together. Okay, very nice and smooth. Let's launch a pop-up view here. Move this around. All right, not bad. Let's minimize it, maximize it, I mean. Go back, tap again. I'm just checking the fluidity of the actual system here, okay? All right, very nice. But just remember some of the key new features is the quick settings panel, this one right here, okay? That is very logical. I like how they have everything relating to the display in one place at the bottom, including the eye comfort shield and the dark mode and the brightness slider. You can tap this over here to access adaptive or extra brightness options. Tap on details to go inside. All the animations in the whole process are very nice and smooth. And if I go to YouTube, for example, let me just go to YouTube here real quick. And I do wanna play a music here, so let me just uh, find something here, this one. Now I'm gonna exit this, okay? I'm gonna pull this down, and that's the new music player. So that is great, I love the way it looks, okay? So that's new, the notifications are a little bit new. You can see all the icons, as you can see. We've got the new font across the system. Of course, I wanna make a full detailed video with all the new features when the stable release is finally out. Another thing that I do wanna mention though is if you pinch the screen, go to wallpaper and style, tap on lock screen, you are able to reposition the clock. Now you can have it anywhere. So first you can make the size different and you can move it around. So I can move it around and I can change the size. This was existing, but this moving stuff is brand new. So if you have a certain wallpaper, you can have that wallpaper be the highlight and clock on the side, okay? So fantastic. If you have noticed any new features with this update, drop a comment down below and let me know. But in my case, I haven't seen anything new so far other than the stability improvements. Anyway guys, for now, have a fantastic day, all right?